ومرحبا فيكم بحلقة جديدة من برنامجكم الأسبوعي بدازل معكم رؤى ورح نبدأ هالحلقة فورا مثل ما عودناكم بالحلقات الماضية عم يكون عنا لقاءات حصرية مع أهم نجوم بوليود وطبعا موعدنا ما خلص ولقاءاتنا ما خلصت خلينا نشوف مين معنا اليوم Uh, hi, Yashraj. Welcome to Bedazzled. My name is Zora. Uh, how was your trip? How is it feeling to be in Dubai? Yeah, it feels great and uh, the trip was a little hectic because we had uh, flights at the night. So I was traveling the entire night, but it was great. Yeah. My first question to you. Aap jaise hain? Waise kab se hain? Main to bachpan se aisa hu aur aisa hi hu. Kya bolu aur? Aisa hi hu. Main aise music banata rehta hu, aise kuch kuch karta rehta hu, chote mote videos banata hu. On that note, What was the thought process that went in your mind जब आप पहला mix बना रहे थे Inspiration का source क्या था बहुत सारा inspiration का source होता है जैसे बहुत मतलब actually उसके लिए जो मैं जो छोटे videos बनाता हूँ उसके पीछे से बहुत ज़्यादा thought process नहीं है लोगों को लगता है कि वो because क्योंकि वो I make मज़े में बना देता हूँ so तो शायद इसलिए लोगों को पसंद भी आता है but ऐसा कुछ में बहुत मैं सोचता हूँ कि अभी ऐसे करता हूँ फिर इसको वायरल कर दूंगा फिर ऐसे करूँगा इट नेवर हैपन्स लाइक दैट आई जस्ट मेक समथिंग रैंडमली एंड इट वर्क्स सो आई एक्चुअली डोंट नो कि क्या आया था उस दिन क्या इंस्पिरेशन जो आ गया वो बना दिया एनी थिंग दैट यू स्पॉटेड एवर सिंस यू कम टू दबाई कुछ ऐसे देख लिया हो कि आपको लगा अरे इस पर बना सकता हूँ गाना अरे यहाँ पर ना लाइक मैनी पीपल स्पीक अरेबिक नो सो दिस दिस अ लॉट ऑफ ह एंड र इन द अरब एपिक लॉटिस तो आई फाइंड दैट लैंग्वेज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग आई सो या तो वो मुझे सुनने में बहुत मजा आता है ख र या ओके वॉट्स नेक्स्ट ऑन योर लिस्ट है यू स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन एनी अदर प्रोजेक्ट ये Yeah, I'm working on some original songs. I am working on a song with a really good artist. I can't name it now, but it is in the making. And um, uh, if that happens, it would be a really interesting collab with a with a very well-known uh, singer. Uh, that would be in Hindi. I'm doing a song in a Marathi film. Uh, and uh, actually, if I finish the edit by tonight, I'll put a small video tomorrow also on. Absolutely, looking forward to that. Okay, last question: Have you received any offers from Hollywood yet? I mean, I'm sure there's a treasure out there for you to play with. <laughs> Actually, no, absolutely not because uh, the kind of content I make it is mostly for Hindi-speaking uh, people. But uh, maybe if I make something original, someone might notice it. But yeah, because internet is for everyone, everyone has the access. So yeah. Thank you so much for talking to us, Yashraj. It was lovely. It feels like a second home to me because I began my musical journey uh, from Dubai uh, when I did my first film, Jai Ho. it was uh, premiered here so it's really special it's my beginning and even my first independent single tu mera nahi was shot in dubai so it's really special okay so in the year of your debut you managed to sweep a lot of awards for your film roy but if you had to pick a favorite which one would it be roy or jai ho obviously roy jai ho obviously has a special place because wo meri shuruaat hai and uh, you know salman khan sir believed that a 23 year old kid could become a composer i wasn't sure like that time i was assisting salim suleiman on cocktail as a background score assistant so it was his belief obviously if that opportunity wouldn't have happened then obviously roy later also wouldn't happen but somewhere you know i always felt that main music ko chun raha hu but music is not music mujhe nahi chun raha and suraj dubai would be that song which i feel Uh, is my star song you know it's my guardian angel which where are this close to leaving music and i was like agar ye chalta hai ye gana then i will continue music otherwise i'll accept the fact that i'm not made for this so i think i have to give a lot of love and respect to that song i have to say suraj dubai is still a mood it will always be a mood in 8 years i feel old saying this but as a baby 24 year old when i made that now i'm almost 32 <laughs> from playing amrit to acp kuldeep and khalid meer in apl how has the journey been across all of these uh, years and these films exciting but uh, you know uh, i never thought like this ke kabhi is tarah ke never wanted to be an actor first of all wanted to be an army officer then something happened and you know started doing theater and then all these things never thought about being on these kind of platforms and you know everything else but uh, the the only thing which i love about it is i get a chance to meet people and portray them on screen uh, maybe they see themselves there or maybe they are scared of those characters so maybe they love those characters maybe they want to be there 
or they see themselves on screen so that that reflection it's very exciting for me that that's the love for me uh for being an actor so that's to tell a story through you which is not yours i i i find this is i find this always amazing because yeah so it's it's amazing journey so far and just started let's hope and i'll i'll try my best to give you something new وهلا صار وقت فقرة الصبايا المفضلة، طبعا الموضة والفاشن هي شيء كثير حلو وخاصة مع الروتين اليومي كيف بنروح على الشغل او حتى بنروح على المدارس والكولج، كرمال هيك خلونا نشوف مع زهرة هلا كيف فينا ننسق ثيابنا واصدارات جديدة واخر صيحات الموضة. Neons have always been known as edgy and bold shades and because they're so bright and in the face people usually tend to wear them only during summers so i've tried to break the law a little this time and style neons for the chilly season have a look keeping it classy in the first look i've worn a neon yellow jumpsuit with a monochrome striped blazer since prints work well with solid colored neons jazz up the look with chunky white shoes and matching shades Bringing you some grunge biker girl feels is this second look where I've paired black bell bottom trousers with a neon green crop jacket but the bandana adds all the funk to this look. If you're the lazy kind or are always running late, this super comfy look is for you. Keeping the bell bottom trousers and pairing it with a neon orange and turquoise crop sweatshirt with your hair tied up and white shoes on your cute yet cozy look is complete. For the final look I've paired my favorite neon pink puffer jacket with an all black ensemble. Boots to elevate the overall outfit and shades that add the boss to this lady. Always dare to do different. وهلا رح نروح لبريك قصير وحنرجع نكفي حلقتنا مثل ما بيقولوا اوقات شرخ صغير او حتى مطب بحياتنا ما بيعني انه حياتنا انهارت بس بيعني انه حياة حطتنا تحت اختبار وطلعنا منه ان شاء الله ناجحين ومتعلمين دروس جديده خلونا نشوف هالفقره مع فيديا هاي فيديا ويلكم باك تو بدازلت Thank you so much for having me here once again. Uh, firstly, I must say we've been learning a lot from you over the last few weeks uh, throughout the episodes. And last week you spoke about emotional issues. What do you have in store for us today? So as I promised last time, I said that I'm going to show you the most important root cause of all emotional issues. And the most important root cause of all emotional issues is the feeling. that i'm not enough i'm not good enough i'm not wealthy enough i'm not attractive enough i'm not successful enough and most important i am not lovable enough people who have children can relate to what i'm going to say when your baby was born the baby cried when he or she wanted milk the baby didn't think oh my mother is so tired working the whole day that i will not wake her up at 3 am and ask for help so as a baby Each one of us were born with a perfect body and a perfect mind and we knew that we are enough. But as the baby developed, we came into our childhood, our needs were not met or some of us were put down by the people around us and we learned and acquired beliefs that something is wrong with me, that I am not important enough, I am not good enough. And as an adult, we still have these feelings within us so though we are an adult the child inside us is always feeling i am not good enough when you operate from this feeling of not good enough that's when you're always looking out for something more so you binge eat you binge drink you hoard things you shop many of you would have come across personal development programs even advertisements telling oh you're a rock star you love yourself you should love yourself you should take care of yourself but your subconscious mind keeps rejecting that because the 
core feeling inside is I'm not good enough. So who am I to be a rock star or beautiful or wealthy? However, your mind will not reject the statement, I'm enough. I will always be enough. So your homework for next week is to write out these three simple words, I am enough. You can write it on the mirror of your bedroom, of your bathroom. You can write it on your fridge. I have it as my phone alerts, your computer wallpaper. Even when you're brushing your te uh, teeth, you can think this, these words, I'm enough. And as you do this every day, you will be absorbing, thinking, and your mind learns by repetition. It loves repetition. So mind is going to retain this powerful statement, I'm enough. When you do this for a week, you'll notice the difference that you feel inside you. And most important, as you know you're enough, people around you will know you're enough. They will value you, respect you more now. And for those of you who have children or who are teachers, the best gift that you can teach your children is telling them that they are enough. Oh wow, I am enough, 100%. I, I definitely am enough. Uh, so Vidya, did you practically try this technique with someone? So I actually had a client, a nine-year-old child I worked with, who had this core feeling of not good enough. She was not speaking to people because she felt they would judge her and she's not good. So after our session, I gave her these just powerful statement to say to herself and I made her repeat that in a voice note to me every single day. And within a week, her mother told me that now she's talking to people around her. She's voluntarily making friends with others. So that's the power of I am enough. Thank you so much, Vidya, for being on Bedazzled with us. We look forward to your next consultation. Thank you. And it's lovely being here. And I hope everyone is learning a lot out of this. And just remember that you're enough. طبعا الاكل شيء مميز بحياتنا وخاصه لما تكون النكهه حاره كرمال هيك جولتنا اليوم رح تكون بمطعم فليفرز الهندي برمادا بالجي بي ار مع الشيف ريتو बी डेजल किचन में मैं रितु चतुर्वेदी आप सबका स्वागत करती हूँ ये एपिसोड हमने शूट किया है फ्लेवर्स ऑफ इंडिया एट रमादा जे बी आर पीतल नगरी मुरादाबाद आप सब ने सुना होगा और सुनी होगी मूंग की दाल की चाट जो बहुत पॉपुलर है मुरादाबाद में और उसको हम लेके जा रहे हैं मैक्सिको में तो आज हम बनाएंगे मूंग की दाल चाट स्टव टैकोस समथिंग डिफरेंट समथिंग यूनिक उसमें कॉमन क्या है कि मूंग की दाल की चाट भी स्पाइसी है और मैक्सिकन फूड भी स्पाइसी है तो चलो हम शुरू करते हैं समथिंग डिफरेंट समथिंग नाइस मूंग की दाल चाट स्टव टैकोस मूंग की दाल टाको चाट बनाने के लिए हमें चाहिए एक से दो कप सोख मूंग दाल इट डिपेंड्स हाउ मच यू वांट टू प्रिपेयर टाको शेल हाफ कप बेल पेपर जूलियंस में जिंजर वो बहुत जरूरी है ग्रीन कोरिएंडर, चॉप टोमेटो पोमेग्रेनेट ऑप्शनल है और ग्रीन चिली बीटरूट और ये थोड़े से नमकीन सेब हमें चाहिए और इसमें हम तड़का हमने जो बनाया है वो बटर रेड चिली और हींग के साथ बनाया है और सर्व करने के लिए हमें चाहिए मिंट चटनी और ग्रीक योगर्ट सो so, ये मूंग की दाल की चाट है तो मूंग की दाल तो सबसे पहले चाहिए तो ये मुरादाबाद में तो ज़्यादा मशी पसंद करते हैं मैंने इसको सेमी मशी रखा है टू एड लिटिल टेक्सचर तो आपकी जो भी सर्विंग होगी आप उसके हिसाब से ले सकते हैं अब इसमें मैं डाल रही हूँ बटर और ये लाल मिर्च और हींग और लौंग डाली है मैंने क्लोव्स डाले हैं इसमें अच्छा यूपी अपने खाने के लिए बहुत फेमस है तो वहाँ पर घी बटर में कंजूसी नहीं करते हैं तो आप इसको जेंटली टॉस कर लें थोड़े से टमाटर हम पहले मिलाएंगे बाकी हम ऊपर से डालेंगे और इसका फ्लेवर सबसे अच्छा आता है जिंजर जुलियन से और ग्रीन चिली इसमें कोई आर्टिफिशियल फ्लेवर नहीं है और ये डिश कम्प्लीटली ग्लूटेन फ्री है तो ये हमारे टैको शेल हैं जो हम ट्रे में सजा रहे हैं ये आपके ऊपर डिपेंड करता है आप कितने लोगों को सर्व कर रहे हैं अब हम इस दाल से ये टैको शेल को भरेंगे 
इस तरह से आप इंडिविजुअल भी सर्व कर सकते हैं और ऐसे भी अब हम बोट ये जैसे बोट जैसे स्टाइल है तो इसको आप किसी भी हिसाब से अपना डेकोरेट कर सकते हैं मैं सजा रही हूँ ये जूलियंस वाले रेड बेल पेपर रेड बेल पेपर एंड द कोरेंडर इज़ द वेरी मच यूज इन द मैक्सिकन डिश मैंने इसमें एवाकाडो नहीं डाला है लेकिन हाँ यू कैन ट्राई लिटिल बिट मोर ग्रीन चिलीज और ये ग्रीन चिली इज नॉट वेरी स्पाइसी दीज आर द माइल्ड ग्रीन चिली बट इट्स डिपेंड ऑन यू हाउ मच स्पाइसी यू वॉन्ट सो ये मैं बीट रूट डाल रही हूँ इसमें जुलियंस और हम इसको फिनिश करेंगे ये सेब से अ ब्यूटिफुल कलरफुल मूंग की दाल टाको चाट इज रेडी यू कैन सर्व विद मिंट चटनी और ग्रीक योग Until next time I'm Ritu Chaturvedi signing off thank you for watching me Oh hala sar waqt istiraha asira aur nirjaye kafi اخلاقيات العمل وموقفنا بحياتنا المهنيه رح يشكل حياتنا المهنيه لقدام كرمال هيك خلونا نشوف هلا خبرات المهنه كيف فيهم يساعدونا كيف ناخذ الموقف المهني الصحيح It's career tip time. And today we're talking about job interviews and specifically how to structure your answer in a job interview. What you've done in the past is the best predictor of how you'll act in the future. So in a job interview, it's important to break down some specific examples from your previous employment that give the recruiter an understanding of how you would act if you get the job. The best way to do that is what we call the CAR format. CAR stands for circumstance or context, action, result. And when we're dealing with the first part, the C, we want to make sure that the audience understands how challenging this moment was. And we do that by highlighting what the constraints are that we faced. In business, we have several common constraints such as time, money, culture, personnel, geography whatever they are you want to summarize them in 2 to 3 sentences such as i had to launch a new product and it was the height of the financial crisis and they had cut my budget by 50% and my team by 50% and then move on to what you did as the action yes the a stands for action and it's important to be specific about the action that you took remember the company is hiring you not your previous boss your previous team or your previous organization so it's important to be a little bit self-centered here in terms of the specific action that you took that drove the result and when you talk about your results make sure that you highlight results in numbers and benchmark your success stay away from using generic terms such as we significantly exceeded our budget and get to specific numbers such as we increased revenue by 42% or we reduce cost by 12% and then benchmark the result i.e i was the fourth largest revenue generator in the country and that's how you highlight your results so whenever you're going for a job frankly any job at any level using the car format is a great way to give the recruiter an understanding of how you would act if you get the job this has been Pete and Shane wishing you all your dreams come true وهلا صار وقت الفقرة الفنية مع سنتوش مع آخر الإصدارات بالسينما وبدور العرض خلونا نشوف سوا Hi, this is Santosh Kumar, and you're watching Watch Me If You Can. Today we're going to be talking about sequels, remakes, and originals. Sequel की बात करते हैं Bunty and Bubbly 2 out in the cinemas. Bunty or Bubbly? It starts from 15 years after the original. Starring Saif Ali Khan, Rani Mukherjee, Sidhan Chaturvedi from Gali Boy, and newcomer Sharvani Wag. Saif is not Abhishek Bachchan. Bunty and Bubbly ka jo Bunty hai that is missing in the film. It's a story of new cons Sidhan and Sharvani trying to reprise Bunty or Bubbly. The old ones get offended and they want to avenge them, saying that our brand kyun istemal kiya. What sounds good on paper doesn't translate on screen. Shankar Ehsan's law in music is very mediocre compared to the original which was Shahid Ali's one of his best works save the last 20 minutes but Kajra Ray rings the bell even today sadly Bunty and Bubbly 2 mein aise koi baat nahi hai 
बट सिनेमाज में जाना है मजे लेना है तो आप जाइए वरना वेट फॉर रो टी टी रिलीज ओरिजिनल बंटी एंड पब्लिक कमिंग बैक सीक्वल के बाद आते हैं रीमेक्स पे वी हैव धमाका आउट ऑन नेटफ्लिक्स इट वाज डिलेड फॉर अ वाइल द लास्ट सिक्स मंथ्स इट्स अ रीमेक ऑफ द कोरियन फिल्म टेरर लाइव व्हिच वन सेवरल एक्लेड्स द हिंदी इज डायरेक्टेड बाय राम माधवानी एंड इट इज अ ब्रिलियंट फिल्म आई टेल यू व्हाई द हिंदी रीमेक इज अबाउट टेन मिनट्स लॉन्गर दिन दरिजिनल द टेर लाइफ स्टार्ट विद दिन इन द फर्स्ट थ्री मिनट्स Dhamaka starts with some sweet moments between the couple Kartik Aryan and his wife played by Mrinal Thakur once again in a small but this time an effective role. So what's Dhamaka about? It's about a reporter, prime time reporter who gets demoted to a radio jockey because of something that he did for which you have to watch the film. The reporter played by Kartik Aryan, directed by Ram Madhwani who made Nirja earlier, is known to extract wonderful performances from his cast. There's been a gender swap from some roles in the, the original Korean film. The owner, the boss of the channel, uh, is played by a man. In Hindi, in Dhamaka, you have Amrita Subhash playing that role, and she does a fantastic job. Vishwajit Pradhan appears in a brief role as the chief minister's secretary. So, what happens in the film is that the radio jockey Kartik Aryan gets a call from one of his callers in his morning show, and this person threatens to blow up the sea link if his story is not heard. Kartik dismisses this as a prank, but what happens in the next two minutes is that the sea link is blown up. What happens after that in the next 1 hour 20 minutes is a nail biting cat and mouse game between the caller and the uh, TV channel. Karthik is shown as an opportunist uh, of a very fantastic departure from all his previous romantic and uh, rom-com roles. This is uh, going to surely make people look up and stand up and watch his performance. Welcome to the show. Unlike the original Korean film which had an abrupt ending In Hindi, in Dhamaka, the ending is quite justified. So watch it; it's out on Netflix. जो भी कहूँगा, सच कहूँ. Speaking of Korean film remakes, we have a Korean web series, Hellbound, in our next review, directed by Yoon Sang Ho, who gave us the brilliant Train to Busan and the sequel Peninsula, which was not as good. So, what is Hellbound about? It is about an organization called the New Truth, which talks about creatures from hell dragging one to hell if they have sinned on earth. So it is set in a dystopian universe in present times the first three episodes and the next three episodes leaps ahead in the next 7 years Hellbound is a six part series it's terrifying it's gory it's violent definitely not for the kids or the faint hearted but it does question one's beliefs do give it a watch if you uh, want to watch something exciting and nail biting i will see you next week until then bye ولهون بتكون خلصت حلقتنا لليوم بس موعدنا بيتجدد الاسبوع الجاي بنفس الوقت كونوا كتار